questions and answers with the Prince of Macedon. Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and I'll be doing uh, questions and answers with you guys. As usual, I will announce when I'm taking questions, and then during that time, you guys will submit your questions, and then I will go through my channel comments, and I'll answer a few of those questions. I can't answer all, because um, I only have so little time in my video my video formats. But, um, yeah, before I start questions and answers, I want to say that I watched uh, two movies recently. I watched uh, Prince of Persia, of course, because I'm the Prince of Macedon, and I also watched uh, Get Him to the Greek. Uh, Prince of Persia, that was actually a very good, um, very good, fun uh, action-type movie. And out of all the um, the video game to movie conversions that I've seen, I would say Prince of Persia is probably my favorite that I've seen. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal does a really good job of portraying the, the Prince of Persia. And it, he does a really good uh, tongue-in-cheek performance. And it's just really fun to watch. Uh, then I watched I Get Him to the Greek, and wow, that, that was probably the funniest movie I've seen all year. And my friend told me that it was actually, um, there were actually a lot of, like, inside jokes if you watched, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which I hadn't seen until last night. But, um, even without watching Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Get Him to the Greek was hilarious. I definitely recommend that. If you're proper age, because there's a lot of, uh, bad stuff being said and done. Anyways, let's start our questions and answers. And I'll be answering these really fast, because I have so many that I want to answer. Uh, this one comes from, uh... Triton Productions, his question is, Subway or Quiznos? Easily Quiznos. I think Subway came way first, but I never I never liked Subway. It always tasted bland to me. And I think Quiznos was the first to start toasting their, their bread. I, I don't know who came first when it came to toasting, but I just I strongly um, prefer Quiznos. But um, there's also Firehouse Subs. I like Firehouse Subs. That's pretty good. Um, next question comes from uh, Christian OLS. He asks, are you a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien world of Middle-earth or the movies? Um, I actually like the world that was uh, written by uh, Tolkien. I like the whole Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I like the whole um, you know atmosphere that he made. As for the movies, I'm not so much a fan. I, I like the first movie, The Fellowship of the Rings, but the last two movies, I think they could have been edited much better, and I think they could have been directed better. The visuals were nice, though, but... That's about it. I, I wouldn't watch the, the last two movies ever again. Um, third question comes from Steiny0793. His question is, I know you are excited about Shogun 2 Total War, but what time period would you like to see in the next Total War game after that? Um, easily, I would love to see a return to antiquity. Um, I would love to see Alexander's time, but the problem with that is you don't really have you know the Romans at their peak. So... I wouldn't mind if they did, like, um, Rome during the uh, the Second Punic Wars, because um, Macedon, although it wasn't at its strongest, they were still um, respectable during the Punic Wars, but they weren't quite Alexander the Great. Um, next question comes from uh, Bojangle Z 89 His question is, Hello, Palm. Are you going to do any videos on the upcoming World Cup? And what are your thoughts on the Dutch national soccer team? Well... I love the Dutch national soccer team. Not as much as Germany or USA, but I love watching the Dutch play. Um, they invented a uh, total football, clockwork orange, and um, one of my favorite players in history would be uh, Dennis Bergkamp. That guy was a genius. He could like control a ball as it comes from like 50 yards from the air, and he'll catch it right on his foot. I don't know. Th that guy was a genius. Um, it's hard to believe that a country as small as the Netherlands or, or Holland, whatever, um, they could produce such talent. And um, they're always a very uh, strong force whenever they, they get to the World Cup. I highly respect the Dutch national team. And I do plan on making a um, like video blogs after each a Germany match, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But I do want to vlog about Germany um, at some point. And um, next question comes from uh, Nugget Blubber. His question is, what is your favorite war movie that was made in one of the Total War game eras, such as Braveheart for Medieval 2 Total War, and so on? Um, well, if it has to be a movie, for, uh, for Rome Total War and the Alexander-type era, I would probably go for Alexander, the movie starring Colin Farrell, which is about Alexander the Great. Um, from Medieval Times, probably Braveheart, because that was such an epic movie. Um, I know there are all kinds of historical inaccuracies, but I think a movie should take its own course because um, you shouldn't be learning your history from movies. If, if you can, that's great, but I don't expect movies to, uh, to teach me history. Um, from the period of Napoleon Total War, probably that's a toss-up between Master and Commander, Far Side of the World starring Russell Crowe, and um, Waterloo, directed by Bonderchuk. 
and that was starring uh, Rod Steiger. Um, and I have to move on because I, I have very little time left. I have uh, next question comes from the Prince of Thessaly. His question is, how do you earn your money? If that is private, then simply ignore this. Smiley face. Well, actually, Princess Thessaly, that is not a secret. I'm going to show you how I make my money. See, I have this thing called the money tree. Basically, um, what I do is, um, when I want money, I pretty much uh, just water it. So, I'm, I'm going to water this one now. Oh! Here's one. Um, I need a little bit more, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep watering this. Ah! There you go. Here's another uh, George Washington. Put it over there. I, I, take, I need one more so I can buy some ice cream later. Oh, look at that. I put too much water. I got extra, extra, extra money. Anyways, uh, that's how I make my money. I'm not sure how you guys do it, but that's the way I do it. Alright, uh, the next question comes from Yalman98. His question is, whose army would win without their commanders? Alexander the Great's army or Attila the Huns? Um, easily, I would say Attila the Hun's Hunnic army was uh, better suited to fighting battles without their commander compared to Alexander the Great's Macedonian army. The Macedonians, historically speaking, they did very poorly when their commander was not coordinating their, you, you know, their, their game plan properly. Um, for example, in Alexander the Great's time, when he sent um, his subordinates to Mariconda to subdue these uh, bandits, they, the Macedonian army was completely slaughtered because Alexander the Great was not there, and they had a subordinate lead in them, and he was not as strongly, uh, you know, not as talented as Alexander the Great. And um, in later battles, such as uh, Pydna, Sinosophily, and, um, and, and other battles featuring Macedonian-style armies, the Macedonian army crumbled if the commander did not know what he was doing. Like, you, you needed a strong commander to coordinate the cav, the, uh, the infantry, and the auxiliary units, so... So I think, um, yeah, the Hunnic army was definitely better suited to fighting without a strong commander. Alright, next question comes from Durker1000. His question is, What would you say are the good things and the bad things about being a well-known person on YouTube? Well, um, first off, I don't really consider myself to be well-known. Um, perhaps among the, the Total War community people, maybe I'm slightly known, but I don't really think I'm really well-known even to them. Um, good things about being well known is that the people who watch your videos, like, they're almost like friends. Uh, you, you can, like, share your thoughts with them. And, um, the people who continue to watch your videos, that means that they share your interests. And, um, I think that's a good thing because, um, for somebody like myself, like, I like to know that there's people who like history, who like, um, gaming and, you know, thrill rides and adventures and whatnot. So, I guess that would be the good things. I think the good things easily outweigh the bad things. Um, next question comes from Street171. His question is, do you believe in aliens or there being other intelligent life out there? Um, I definitely think there are aliens out there because this universe is so vast. Um, but I don't know what level of development they're at. Um, honestly, I think humans are lucky that we have this spark that gives us you know, the, the edge to uh, develop ourselves, like, technologically speaking. So, I don't know what level of technology these other aliens are, but I definitely believe that there are other aliens out there. Um, next question comes from uh, Mojo Blab. What do you prefer, Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? That's kind of unfair, because I hate Lord of the Rings, the movies. Um, I definitely prefer Star Wars over Lord of the Rings. Alright, last question comes from... Zedin K. Ziemeskal. I don't know how to pronounce that. His question is, Hi, have you ever been to, have you ever been in Czech Republic or know something interesting about it? And maybe you know Radecki, um, Waldstein, or Masaryk? Thanks for answers and your great commentaries. Um, I don't know much about the Czech Republic. I know they split up from Czechoslovakia. But, uh, I know some famous, uh, Czech people, though, um, such as Dvorak, the composer. Um, Ivan Lendl and Navratilova, those are both, uh, tennis stars. I used to love watching tennis. I still love watching tennis, but those are very old-school tennis players. I like them. Alright, last question comes from a Demon Sick. His question is, which Scandinavian country would you rather visit if you went to see historical buildings and other historical stuff? Um... I didn't really research this question before I read it, so I'm going to have to guess. I'm going to say Norway, because I know they have several um, Viking ships that are recreated. I, I love Vikings. I, I just love it all. But I, I want to see all of Scandinavia. 
Um, I also want to like go as far as Iceland. Like that is like one of my dream uh, destinations is to visit Iceland, see the glaciers, visit the volcanoes, and mingle with the locals. Um, all right, guys. Unfortunately, that's all I have time to answer. Sorry. Um, I wanted to answer more, but that's all I could do. Um, now I want to end this with a question for you guys. Um, earlier I talked about two movies I saw, The Prince of Persia and Get Him to the Greek. And now I want to ask you guys a question. What is your favorite video game to a movie movie? And also, what is the uh, your favorite comedy that you've seen in the theaters? Leave your answers in the, uh, the comment section, and um, we'll go from there.